Hello again, this is George Crump at Kansas City, Kansas Community College in the Technical Education Center. I am the Electrical Technology Instructor. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about fuses in terms of the different types of fuses and how to go about testing the fuse to see if the fuse is good or bad. As you know, fuses are one of those overcurrent protection devices that determine if there is an excessive amount of amperage flowing to that particular appliance or load, then the fuse acts as a protective means of opening up the circuit to keep that surge of power from continuing and perhaps causing a fire. So today I have a testing board here that I'm going to first talk about, and then I'll begin to show you about the different types of fuses that are out in the marketplace for various applications. Okay, this is our testing board here, and as you can see, it has an AC voltage, and this is called a variac, which means a variable alternating current uh, testing machine or testing device. And it has an AC scale here, and it has AC amperes here, the, the amount of amperes that the load is pulling. And this is a rheostat that varies the amount of alternating current. In other words, I can vary the alternating current from 120 all the way down to 40 or even down to 20 if I need it to be that low. In this case, we're going to keep it at 120, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to rotate it around just to show you how the scale of variance occurs with the variac. So I'm going to turn it on here, and then as I rotate this, you can see the scale starting to move. It's at 50 volts AC, and it goes all the way up as I rotate it all the way around to approximately 120 volts on the scale. And the, this portion of the machine is where I'm going to be using for testing the fuses, which I will talk about the individual fuses that are out in the marketplace. And then this is a copper bus bar that will give me the continuity check that I need for the various types of fuses to determine if the fuse is either good or bad. So you saw the Variac, and I'm going to leave it on for the time being as I go through the various types of fuses that are in the marketplace. The first fuse that I'm going to show you, this is a screw-in base type fuse, and it's called the Edison base fuse. So for those old fuse boxes, it uses an Edison base, and they go from 15, 20, and 30 amp in rating. As you can see by the fuse here, this is a 30 amp Edison based fuse. The next fuse I'm going to show you is going to be called a Type S. And you can see the Type S fuse has a different type of smaller diameter screw in, and plus it's made out of a ceramic material. This Type S fuse is also rated in 15, 20, and 30 amperes. However, this type S provides slow blow protection. What that simply means is, if there is an excessive amount of current flowing in the circuit beyond the rating on the fuse, which again, they come in 15, 20, and 30 ampere, this fuse will allow additional time to occur before the fuse actually blows. So therefore, it's like a time delay fuse. Again, this is a type S fuse. The next fuse that I'm going to show you, or the next variety of fuses that I'm going to show you, are all what is called a cartridge fuse in a furrow, which is round, type configuration. Now, as you can see by this fuse, it has an ampere rating on it, right here on the label of the fuse. And sometimes they put the rating down here on the end of the fuse, which is where the copper is located on both ends. This particular fuse is rated at 30 amps. And you can see the size of it, so it'll only fit into a certain type of fuse holder that will accommodate this particular size. The next size I'm going to show you is even smaller than that one, and that's this one here. This is a cartridge fuse, and it's in a furl type, F-E-R-R-U-L-E, furl. And this one is rated at one half of an amp. So that's one half of an amp and it is a 600 volt rated fuse, okay? 
The next one I'm going to show you are all pretty much of the same size. They're furrow type fuses, but as you can see, the amperage on this one is 60. So you're getting into much heavier equipment when you start using a 60 amp fuse. But again, you can never determine if this fuse is good or bad because you can't see inside the fuse to see the fuse link which ties this circuit together and also senses how much current is flowing in the circuit. And when that current is exceeded, this fuse will blow to protect the wires from not being burned and thus causing a fire or the machine not being destroyed as a result of the excessive current. Okay. Then the last fuse I'm going to show you and before I start my demonstration, it's going to be another cartridge fuse, but this one has a furrow configuration, which is round. But if you see the blade right here, this is a blade furrow type fuse. And again, you can't see the inside to determine if the fuse is good or bad. The rating on this one is 100 amps. So you can see that the amperage has gone up considerably. And it's also rated for 600 volts and 100 amps. That's the maximum before that fuse will blow. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to go about checking the fuses on this device here, which is a fuse test. The first fuse that I'm going to test is going to be one of the furrow fuses rated at 60 amps. And the way I would go about testing this fuse is I just simply come over to the copper bar and place the fuse on the bar where the both ends of the metal here and here is touching. And if the fuse is good, that light will come on, which you see the red light right there? That indicates that the fuse is operating or is functional. Okay? Now, just to show you what would happen if you had a bad fuse and you were testing it, here is a fuse that is rated at 50 amps. And I'm going to test this fuse to see if I get a functional reading. I touch the two copper bars with the ends and you see there's no light. So this fuse is obviously bad. This is not a good fuse. Just to prove to you that the fuse test is still functional, I will get this same one that I tested earlier, put it on there. You see the red light. The red light indicates that the fuse is good. This is how you would go about testing fuses if you have this particular type of fuse testing device.